In this video, you're going to be learning about how to find elapsed time, the time that has passed, using the t-chart method. As you can see, you draw a t-chart. Let's take a look at our first problem. Susie went to the store. She left the house at 2.47 p.m. She got home at 5.24 p.m. For how long did she shop? So the first thing we have to do is we draw our t-chart. So we draw a line down and we draw a line across. That's how we begin the t-chart method. The next thing we do is we write our start time on top of the first. So our start time would be 247 and our end time would be 524. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get 247 to the next closest hour. So in order to do that, I know there are 60 minutes in an hour. So to get 247, I want to get, move it to 3 o'clock. So I write 3 o'clock here. And over here, I'm going to write 13 minutes. Because I know from 247 to 3 o'clock, it is 13 minutes. Because if I have 10 minutes to 47, it's 57, then another 3 minutes. So now that we're at 3 o'clock, it's easy to figure out how to get to 5 o'clock. So if I add 1 hour, it's 4 o'clock. I'm going to write over here 1 hour. Then I need to get to 5 o'clock, which is another hour. And then I know I need to get to 524. So in order to get from 5 o'clock to 524, it is 24 minutes. However, we're not done. Now we need to add up the hours. One plus one is going to give me two hours. But then I also need to add up 13 and 24. So I add a four plus a three, I get seven. And then three, because I get two plus one. So it's two hours and 37 minutes. Now we're gonna look at a different problem using the same T-chart method. However, the question's asked a little differently. Let's read it and see why. Luke went for a run. He started his run at 7.47 a.m. He ran for three hours and 56 minutes. When did he finish his run? As you can see, this problem is a little bit different because it gives you the begin time, which is 7.47, and it tells you how long he ran, but it doesn't give you an end time. So let's see how we use a T-chart for this method. So of course the first thing is, I need to draw my t-chart. So we draw the line down, and we draw the line over. The beginning time always starts on the left-hand side. Now I don't know what the end time is. I do know I need to move it three hours and 56 minutes. So it's easy to add an hour to 747. So it'll be 847, and over here I write one hour. I need to go another hour, 947, which is another hour. Remember, I need to be three hours, so right now I have one, two. So I add another hour, I get to 1047, which is now my three hours. But now I need to add 56 minutes. That's kind of hard because I know I'm going to move into the next hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 1047 to the next closest hour. So 1047 is closest to 11. So now I need to figure out how long from 1047 to 11 o'clock. Well, that's an easy subtraction or addition or subtraction problem, however you'd like to look at it. And that's going to be 13 minutes. So now I need to figure out how much time is left after I take away 13 minutes. 6 minus 3 is 3. So I need another 43 minutes. If we look over here, we're at 11. Well, 11 plus 43 is 11, 43, and I write 43 minutes over here. Now, just a quick double check. Let's make sure we have one, two, three. That matches the three hours here. And 13 plus 43 is gonna give me 56 minutes. So I know that when Luke started at 747, and he ran for three hours and 56 minutes. He is going to end at 11.43.
a m. And that's how we use the uh, the t chart in order to find the end time when elapsed time is given and the start time is given.